Hello. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm gonna talk a little bit while I make some coffee and just sort of go from there. Um, so today is Saturday, April this day. I can't remember. And um, on today, there is the Renaissance Fair that I mentioned before. Um, and why I made that prep video and all that other fun stuff. And um, it's at three o'clock today and it's like 10 something, nine or 10 o'clock right now. Um, so I'm gonna make some coffee first. But I just wanted to go a little bit into my mindset of what's gonna happen today. I don't really have anything majorly planned um, until the fair because it's at three o'clock um so i was considering going to um downtown Asheville for a little bit over near the grove arcade over near the grove arcade again just to you know park explore walk around a little bit more um and just see what i can see and what i can find uh and then go to that rent fair it's a two-day event. Sorry if you hear water while I'm talking. Um, it's a two-day event. So it's today, Saturday, and tomorrow, Sunday. So I will be, as long as I have stuff to sell, I should be there for both days. Um, so we'll just have to plan that out. I'll try to record a little bit while I'm there. Um, it's one of those things where I would like to act more like a full-time YouTuber and, you know, record everything possible. But it is also some stuff I don't want to record because it is such a moment for myself to just exist. Um, but I'll try to record some stuff and just see how the, the day goes. But um, that's really the goal. Like I said, there's not a whole lot planned. I'm going to make me some coffee. Um, maybe read a little bit of a book and uh, just sort of relax for a little while and just figure out when I want to go somewhere and where I'm going to go and then just sort of go from there. Um, I'm making some caramel flavored coffee is what the, is what the they call it. I'll show the, the brand and everything in a second. It's probably one of the best coffees I've ever drank. I'm kidding just not like and it's great. It's really delicious. Oh wow. Okay. I'm gonna make me a bigger pot because I, you know, I could make just a cup, but I could also leave it in the French press and have some more coffee for later, or just throughout the day as well. Sorry if this gets a little loud, but there is propane. So I'll cut that part out, because I just cut the fan on. So I'll cut around this uh, loud pot boiling. <laughs> but it's by Hyper's Brew. And it's the Red Rocks version. It's a caramel flavored tea. It's pre-ground. I have a coffee grinder at home that I may throw in the van for later, but pre-ground makes it just uh, that much easier to do stuff. And uh, yeah, it's pretty good. So it's based on a Colombian Brazilian blend, medium roast. It's made with organic coffee and organic uh, flavor. It's tasted of savory and salted caramel. So basically like eating a caramel candy. And they do pretty good stuff. Uh, some of the proceeds go to sustainability with nature and some other stuff like that. And it's pretty dope. And I had this forever ago and could not find the packaging anywhere. And then I went to, not Mass General Store, what well, was I? Somewhere in Brevard, it was an outdoor store in Brevard. I'll post the name here. 
Um, and I've seen it, they had big bags, whole beans, um, trial bags, which I thought about buying some of the other trial bags, but I may buy that later, but I wanted a big thing of coffee. Um, so I just bought that for now. And I'm a little weird when it comes to coffee. Um, I say that, but it is what it is. I prefer colder coffee. Like I'll drink an iced coffee. I'll drink regular coffee, but I don't, per I don't like coffee that's scalding. So when it comes to my water, I'm usually, there's probably a tendency for me to be maybe not get the most out of my grounds because I don't let it overly boil. I just let the water get hot enough to brew, but I don't make it super boiling because I like to drink it. I don't want to sit there and wait forever. Um, that's just me though. It just, uh, you know, you can make it however you want to. I know some people like the heat of coffee, but for me, it's just a little too hot. So, but yeah, I got my French press. I've loved this thing since I bought it. Um, making tea and making coffee in this is so, so much easier than the thing I used to have, which was a pour over. And the pour over was nice. It's just, this just is so quick. You basically, you pour the coffee grinds into here. So I got more water. I'll do another, I'll do a half a scoop. You pour those into there, and then when you get the water to the temperature you like, you pour the water in there let it sit for a few minutes and then you just push it down and you have coffee versus a pour over where yeah it's basically the same where you pour you have your pour over machine you put your filter and you put your coffee grinds in and you pour it but i don't have to sit there do a pour around let it sip do a pour around let it sip do a pour around let it sip I imagine there's benefits to each different type of brew coffee. I'm not a brewster, so I have no idea the common differences between the two. I'd love to do the research and make a video on that. That'd be neat. Um, might be an idea to do. Um, just because out of curiosity, because I've been falling back on local coffee and brewing tea in general. Um, okay, you just do that, and then you'll take this. You're basically, it's got your filter on there and you push and it filters out the gr uh, grounds and it makes it so much better <laughs> so let's see You don't hear it very loud. I'm gonna put another denoiser effect, which is what I basically do on all of my videos, anyways. Um, but the noise got pretty loud, so there's no telling. You'll probably still hear a lot of it. But then you just pour your coffee into here, or your water. <laughs> yeah, you pour coffee onto the coffee grounds to make coffee. It might work. I've never made coffee from wood using coffee. And then I shall grab me a spoon. Mix it up. And for me, I like putting the lid back on and letting it sit because it contains all the heat. And then I'll let that sit for a few minutes.
So that was fun. I uh, went to downtown Asheville, which is where I'm still sitting at at the moment. And I went and I bought a few things. Not planning to, but I was there and they were there. So I was like, that's dope. I found this outdoor store called Black Diamond Outdoor, I believe. I think they mainly sell the brand uh, Black Diamond stuff. Um, but I found a hat. You know, I like hats by that name. I'm not even going to try to say it. Don't worry, it'll, it'll, it'll be flipped the right way in editing. But this is the hat. I thought this looked so dope. So I will start wearing this for stuff. You know, I like, I try to, I'm not the best at matching clothes. <laughs> I just usually wear the first thing I pick out. But I usually try to match my hat to um, whatever I'm wearing at the time. And black goes with everything. So, but yeah, I like me a trucker hat because you can wear it like this or you could just throw it around yeah, and wear it like this. And they have a back cap. And it's big for my head. That's just where it was left. So, my new hat. Looks dope. My hair's all over the place. But I also bought some stickers for the sticker door. Uh, I bought this one that I thought looked pretty cool and I like the moons as based on my tattoo. Um, so this is all the moon phases with uh, two foxes and foxes are, they're not my all time favorite animal but I really do enjoy a fox. And then I bought this other one that's just a triangle with more moon phases but they're more detailed moons. They're more like uh, stained glass-esque moons. So that's pretty dope. So we'll put them on the sticker door just gotta find a spot for him. I think I know a spot for the foxes. Lean back. There are the wolves in the moon. There we go. Now we can actually see things. There's that. And I'll show the rest of the sticker because I don't think I've shown the sticker door. I have put that one on there. I think it's one of the newer ones that I have. And then there's that. And then a bear. And we know about the foxes. And then there's one um, that I got when I was in Virginia for that store. Way we can get a little bit of light on. Here's one for Calhoun Falls. There's another one for Calhoun Falls. So they look dope. There's that, and then the Grove Arcade, which is where I was around, um, had a bunch of. Um, they had an artist market out there, and I've been looking for some more tea. Because I love me some tea. But yeah, I was looking for some tea. And I found this really nice uh, lady selling some uh, handmade tea. And I'm a sucker for lavender tea. And it's uh, amazing. So I bought this. Again, like I said, I'll put it uh, the orientation better when I go to edit it. But it's called uh, Queen of Heaven. And it's the only lavender one she had. It smells wonderful, and it's going to be absolutely delicious. I can I can already tell. Yeah, there's a loose leaf. It's a loose leaf. That's another thing I've been looking for because I I bought that French press that I've been using for coffee, but also the main reason I bought the French press was so I could make tea, which I have made tea with it before, as seen in the Virginia trip. But I drunk all of that tea, so I've been looking for some more handmade loose leaf tea and I think this is going to be delicious um, so yeah that's what I did now and now I'm just going to wait a little bit and chill before I head off to the brewery and start setting up my stuff I just want to cut back so you guys know what I was doing so I haven't actually been recording stuff because I've just been enjoying the moment of just chilling here so that's what I've been doing so I'll see you guys in the brewery
early the next morning. Mm-hmm.